Outside in the hallway, we have a long wire radio antenna that runs into the classroom and connects to a radio receiver. That radio receiver is connected to the classroom's network and we can access that network through the computer, which means we can access those radio signals. So we'll open this blue icon down here, navigate to source, AirSpy server network, and this window should populate. It'll show you the AirSpy server network, which should be 169.254.10.1.5555. Once you've verified that, you can click Connect. Now your display will come alive. On the x-axis we have channel numbers and on the y-axis we have power of those channels. Another important thing is to make sure that the wideband FM setting is selected. That's WFM, correct? WFM. Okay. This is indicating a high power at channel 9.99. I can use these numbers as well as the arrows to navigate channels. This also tells me which channel I'm selected. I have selected. Let's travel to 99. And how are you making 99. those numbers go up? I'm using my scroll Okay. On my mouse. Okay. I have uh, centered my my red line on the peak of the the display. I can also widen and narrow these red lines to increase or decrease the amount of data that's being captured. I have a volume control. Right now it's set to zero. Let's turn it up to hear the station. That's just one of them. I'll use the arrows to navigate to hopefully a higher quality station or just a higher station power in general like this one. I'm going to expand my my red uh, bands to capture all the information and let's see how it sounds. Much higher quality. Okay, so the task here will be to just explore the FM band and to see how many stations you can pick up and then record what you pick up with your cell phone. Just take a video showing you tuning into different FM stations and exploring.